Elimination on the line between Virtus Pro and Chaos. A best of three in game one has just begun. Let's dive into the draft here, live from the Monster Energy DreamHack Studio. It is the Corsair Dream League Season 11, the Stockholm Major. I'm Shiver, and I'm here together with Sir Action Slacks and Admiral Bulldog. And Chaos, they open up with the Enigma Bulldog. Do you like that? No. No? That's a little bit of a question mark. <laughs> oh. I guess they only pick it to uh, just ruin the lane for VP with the deny. This would be the... You could just pick up a Rubik here or something. Yeah, this would be the funniest Rubik pick I've ever seen if he just comes immediately after the Enigma. Have you seen Roger Rubik? It's pretty scary. Yeah, it's, it ain't bad. It is also a little bit of a deny pick. Virtus Pro has played that Enigma multiple times throughout this tournament. For Chaos, they, they're not uncomfortable with it either. We saw Misery earlier this week. They actually won their game against Na'Vi with that Enigma. Well, let's see, Virtus Pro is actually ticking into their bonus time quite heavily, already almost a full minute to think about what their opening is going to be, which is unusual. They got spooked, dude. They wanted it. No one, he's not happy about this at all. No, he's <laughs> not. GG this one. Very <laughs> grumpy. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I just wanted to play Nick Fuck. They ruined it. <laughs> oh, wow, we're already down to 50 seconds here. I mean, that, that's super unusual. Maybe they actually, this will be the first team that just GG's out after the first pick. Maybe they got him. I also he highly doubt pros. that. <laughs> I knew it! They picked up a Rubik. I guess an Enigma. <laughs> what are you expecting? <laughs> but maybe it was a bait. Maybe they're like, I hope they picked the Rubik. But there's nothing. What kind of Rubik, though? Nothing, really. Yeah, it's maybe. just like an overall rounded hero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got no weaknesses. Nice just Radiant pick him every game. Why not? Oh, wow. Razor. Hmm. Well, they picked both Enigma and Razor, which usually. You pick a little bit later as a response to something. Racer, you see, like, oh, they have a, a melee mid. We pick Racer. Now you don't see anything like that. So you can pick a hero of the lane as well against Razer. An Enigma. You know, if you pick it early, they can just counter pick it. You can pick a couple of heroes that can just deal with it even through BKB. And he's not so scary anymore. I mean, so a little bit confused here. But it's confident, you know? These are in their this team's wheelhouse. They know what they play well, and they're, they're saying, we don't care what BP picks. We don't pick what we want. Maybe too confident. We said that was arrogance. Maybe they're being arrogant. Arrogance is a step away from confidence. That's true. Rose That's why it's not the same. To bad. That is true. But uh, team who is good against Razor in the mid, Bulldog? Well, we saw Mirana being played. I don't think VP plays that, though. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Put it down. Dang, these Do guys are Do we have to call him? What's the, I didn't get it. No, that was a threatening pose, Sheever. But he pointed at himself and he made a phone with his hand. Yeah. A phone? <laughs> yeah. That wasn't a phone, those were fighting fingers. Oh, fighting. <laughs> That's also how you do the phone. He did the phone hand. <laughs> he was like, call an ambulance. Five seconds remain. For yourself. <laughs> it's a phone hand. It's a fighter's hand. <sighs> Gracious. Gracious. Anyway, so magical damage coming out, Buku style on Virtus Pro already with that list track and Rubik, gonna be dealing some damage there, magically. And we're just spending out the carries right now. The morphing is out. There's still the, the Ursa that we see a lot. The aggression and chaos like that here a lot. And uh, there's still PA and Troll that are common ones. PA Troll. PA Troll. We haven't seen much of that anymore, Bulldog. It's gone. It's gone the ways of the lower bracket. You know, VP is a team that doesn't play Viper. How about that, huh? But they play a lot of OD, which is pretty good against Razor 2, right? Sure. Very non-toxic team, VP. They yeah. Don't, they don't play Viper. They don't mess with that kind of stuff. They just play nice. Yeah. Only nice heroes. They're a happy team. Happy boys, happy team. Mm -hmm. Batrider banned out as well. So gives them a, a little bit of an indication they might be going for somebody that could easily be solo targeted, you know? One of those carries. Yeah. I mean, they do want to have those just two good you games for for no one and Ramses. The two flash here, that's kind of, maybe I don't want to pick a Viper for them. Mm -hmm. And the Spectre band comes out there. Spectre? Hmm. Is this the new meta? Has EG cemented Spectre back in? No. <laughs> I don't like that here. Well, that's not nice. Ten seconds remaining. Spectre's a ghost. 
Isn't that neat? She's a specter. Five seconds a ghost remaining. and a specter is very different. In which way? A specter is spooky. A ghost can be friendly. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> it's so wrong. No, Casper. Have you not heard of that's Casper? That's one example. Yes, yes? you're friendly. That's so? one. That's that's all you need. Casper actually wasn't friendly. He was trying to get that little girl to die and be his friend in case you forgot. That was his monkey air. But was, he was, he was just a, lonely. Yeah, that's not friendliness. Me he trying was to kill still you. very friendly. That's not fr That was his trickery, and you bought into it. Well, Casper Life Stealer would. gets banned out. All right. Life Stealer banned out, which is uh, confusing to me. Why? They have two magic spells. Or two heroes with a lot of magic and life's got a free BKB. Pretty solid ban. There's still a lot of cores out there that does like just to buy BKBs though. So I don't think this is a too tough a choice. They have got a, quite a few options there on the side of uh, of Chaos. As we mentioned, the troll is definitely one of them. And VP hasn't really Hopefully. revealed what, if there's a Lesher core or if it's a Rubik 4 or solo plays it. So it's getting up in the air and we see Slara now. Which Slada. Would mean it's probably Pasha yep. playing that offlane, and it's gonna be. I, I think you'd prefer farm on Lashrak, right? But you also want Future's Rubik on Roger. Oh no! Doctor. Witch Doctor. The witch Doctor coming out. Seeing some love on him recently. Yeah. A, a good laner, good laner, good range, good damage, and just overall good against melee heroes with the Melodic. He's got a little bit of everything in his kit, which is, uh, you know, at this stage in the game, when you're drafting, it's very nice, because it doesn't let your team, the enemy, know exactly what you're going for, and, uh, wow, VP is just really seconds, running low on time. This is super this is, interesting. Yeah. We hardly ever see seconds. this. 15 seconds. 15 seconds I must remaining. say, Chaos is also pretty low on the old bonus time. Oh. They go for the PA. PA. It's just simple, because there's, uh... Not a lot of cares left. They just banned all the popular ones. Oh, well, you still have Troll. Yeah. They're just forcing him to go Troll. What's bad about Troll in this matchup? Why would Chaos not want Troll? Why would he not want Troll? Well, let's see here. They have a lot of stuns and lockdown right now. Yeah. He has to get in there. So without BKB, he would be kind of weak. And uh, fighting as a PA Five with Evasion is not the most fun either. True, but as a Troll, you want to buy BKB anyway, right? Yeah, I mean, it would come out eventually. But I don't know if they would... They play that hero a lot. They Nothing. play Troll a lot. They played him three times out of their six games that they've played. But they go for the Ursa. Because they won with this against Liquid. If you beat Liquid with this hero, just yeah. pick it again. <laughs> True. I mean, yeah, we're seeing a very similar draft to that, where they've just got these heroes that can just run at these guys and blow them up very Ooh, quickly. Oh, hey. Yeah. What's up? Chaos is the team that played Omni Knight core. Oh lord. Just want to point that out here. I mean, Omni Knight is actually really sick in this game, I think. PA's jumping at you. Her whole deal is she wants to be able to blow somebody up and mm. then uh, d completely destroy the team fight or get out. Omni Knight stops that from happening. Sheaves, Ten that's pretty hyped. Remaining. I'm in it. Bring it out. Bring it out. We still have uh, the, the offlaner to go. So the brewmaster is the one that VP doesn't want to want to face. So that would offer a little bit of team fight as well. But Omni Knight offers some extra team fight as well. The other offlaners that Tavo has played this tournament are Lion, Beastmaster, Void, Venno, and Omni. Void. That'd be Void. The double bubble Dream League special. The oh. double bubble. It's been a long time. Well, when they played Void, they did have a Razor with that. Yeah. And it is good with Witch Doctor. Yeah. It is nice with Witch Doctor. Radiant but team. nobody's picking that hero right yeah. now, so I highly doubt we'll be seeing yeah, Just it. pick the Omni and put the, the the new buff, whatever it's called, on Razor. And just run in and kill everyone. Heavenly Grace. Heavenly Grace. I Heavenly miss Grace. Repel. A free Me too. BKB. Me too. There's the greatest skill in history. Free had to BKB. take it away from them. Pisses me off, Ice Frog. Hope you're watching right now. Hope you know. Ten seconds remaining. Anywho. Anywho. Last pick here. What position are Five we going on on VP? Uh, probably the mid, yeah? Yeah, we're looking for uh, no one hero. No Vintage one hero. And seven. Yes! Sheep yeah, with the snipe! Just bring out the Omni Knight. The Omni Knight. Hell yeah. This worked really Hell well. Yeah. This is almost a complete copy draft of last time that we saw it taking out another big ass team. Mm -hmm. Uh, what was nice about the draft when they had the previous Omni Knight game, it was... Um, Oracle. Miracles. It was Oracle. 
and Misery was playing uh, Earth Spirit. Ten that support duo remaining. was very active, and I wonder if this is going to be the same, because obviously this Enigma remaining. is played by Misery now, so I'm not sure if they can set the tempo as high as they did in that game that we saw from them against Liquid. No. But then again, we still have Omni Knight with a heal, which is, again, the only way I think you can play this hero is you have to have two heals. Omni Knight and somebody Three else. Three seconds. Yeah, you see them still discussing. It is the OD. The classic counter. Yeah, as we knew that that was still good against Razor, still in the pool. We have had no one play that already three times. This tournament, they won with it twice out of those. Yeah, I felt like they didn't have a lot of options, so they just yeah. took what was left. True. Man. This is going to be a heck of a game that I think really comes down to uh, the supporting cast on this one, though. Yeah. Rubik could run away with this game. Omni Knight steals, Enigma steals. I mean, he's got a lot to choose from uh, here. It's solo Rubik, though, so, you know, don't expect too much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's good. It's good. <laughs> so, where are you going, Bulldog? I just like the, the lanes from Chaos. I'm feeling it. I feel a Gresh. I feel an Omni Knight. I'm going to go with the boys. Boys on Chaos. Last time I doubted the Omni Knight. It did. This time I'm doubting the Omni Knight. Oh, these classic way to deal with it. I'm going to go for it. I know PA sucks, but who cares? VP for me. I think <laughs> if um, if Chaos is going to win any game, it's probably this first one, as a VP also traditionally loses so far every series. They've lost the first game, and they won the two after that. I think Chaos is, uh, is in a comfort zone this game, and I think they're going to take this first game of the series. Remember, you can vote for your MVP. It's very important that you do that and that you write the names properly. I, I believe in you. Here's the names once more. Memorize them. There they are. Learn them. Be them. Think them. Tattoo them. All right, let's head over to Odie and Lizard for the game. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, what a series we have right here. Virtus Pro up against Chaos. I'm Odie Pixel, joined by Lizard, and wow, it's as the panel say, so Chaos, three cores, we've seen from them before. It worked pretty damn well. VP, though, they're bringing out the Monkress strats. You've got this Rubik stealing your black holes. You've got some PA Slardas dealing five billion damage crits. It's, uh, how, how are we going to see this one play out, Lizard? Uh, I mean, we have to wait and see, honestly, because as you said, Chaos is in complete comfort zone. Shiver mentioned it previously as well. We, we've seen them destroy Liquid with a very similar draft. So it's actually the same I three cores. The Ursa, the Razor, so the Omni Knight. Omni Knight, not the best hero versus Rubik. Every single spell that you steal away from him works so well. Purification, the Heavenly Grace, the ultimate, doesn't matter what you steal, honestly. It, it, it's just amazing. At the same time, you have the amplification with the PA, a lot of synergy there with the Slardar. You have the double stuns from the Lash, from the Slardar. Also, uh, you have to keep in mind that that OD with a hero such as Lashra can always make a kill on mid. You imprison him into the stun, into yeah. the follow-up. So. Yeah, you've got that fantastic setup. And we'll see how they do end up starting the side lanes. Who's going to be matched up against who at the moment? Tavo is up towards the top. As uh, Ramses will be farming the same lane, so no sort of aggressive uh, movement from VP in terms of taking the PA to the bottom. It's just going to be Pasha down there on his court, Lashrak. See how much he can get in that lane. At the moment, just him and the Ursa's in now. We are going to see the Witch Doctor, of course, move down to back up the Ursa. As you'd also expect eventually Solo to, to join the forces down here. For the time being, he's hanging around the mid. Maybe seeing if he can find some sort of an earlier courier snipe. It's not moving out there. Mm -hmm. You at the see, moment. You can see both uh, teams keeping the courier in a pretty safe positions. Yeah. Uh, VP keeping it behind the tier two and at the same time Chaos just not using it at all. So you want to see all the supports before you use that courier. Now Solo has joined forces with Lash and Roger is going to be able to zone out uh, Tavo here. As uh, Roger was one of the guys that played a lot of Slardar uh, when Slardar was a very popular position four. We don't really see that hero no, no, very often on position a, four, no. which does come as a surprise. Lesh is actually played a lot more often on that position. Uh, however, in this game, you're playing versus a Nursa. Do you really want a melee core versus a Nursa? Even a Slardar is going to struggle because of those Fury swipes, right? So 
it's pretty good that they put two melees versus him. Yeah. It's I'm a flux pick, so. Of course, the, the classic move as well from Chaos in terms of where you have this Enigma, you do start him off in the jungle as the four, and you're able to make sure that your offlane is sort of a little more comfortable in the lane by buying him that Ring of Regen. Yep. As we're seeing Misery, he's given the Ring of Regen to Tarvo for the beginning of this game, so he's able to go to the lane with sort of stacks, you know, of Tangos, the South, the and the Ring of Regen, the, region, the Mango. He's beefy. I mean, you can see it. Tarvo's just getting stuck in, and he's easily trading blows with that of Roger and Ramsey. Yeah, it's ridiculous that he can actually trade Trade, yeah. uh, hits with these two core heroes and not really feel the pain whatsoever. You can see him being on 100% most of the time. And here we go. They they do make a move on him, but they they need a lot more, I believe. Yeah, he's more than prepared. Oh, to. there we go. They got another bird. She's popped the stick yeah. judge, but nah, he's cool. And he's, he's, he's got a oh. self. He's level three. He's, he's super fine with that because they, they left the creeps. And the, if I noticed right, the, the creepway was pushing in, so he's gonna get some farm here as well. You can see, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is a perfect for a, for an Omni Knight that's completely solo. He's, yeah. he's been left it's totally on his own. Yeah. He's, you know, sure, CS wise, he's not getting an amazing amount of last hits, but he's getting that. That solo experience, which of course is going to mean that he's just that that much harder for the two heroes to actually push out of the lane. On the mid lane, however, we see uh, Razor doing a little bit better. Not really, even versus no one, Razor should do quite fine versus the OD early on. You can static link him, obviously, and then run him down. So it, Razor used to be one of the counters a long time ago too. So. Yeah, you say that's that's well, very very slightly for the razor. Mm -hmm. uh, we hard does have that extra crew work coming in, so it should still keep him a few CS ahead of of that of no one's OD. It's no one after all. That guy just is considered to be one of the strongest meters whatsoever. Oh, sure, yeah. And you can see this like it, as soon as we uses that static link, he instantly gets imprisoned. It, and it, it was even a precast. He he went towards him to to imprison him first. So. Very interesting that mid lane. Not for you. Oh, as we see, I mean, it's still early days, four minutes in. Lane's going pretty evenly across the board. Mm -hmm. You've got to be, probably, if you're Chaos, a little more comfortable because you're you're essentially getting away with the jungle here. Exactly. Misery's just, he's hit the jungle. He's able to get away with it as an enigma. And the, you're not really feeling extra pressure on the lanes because of that lack of lane support at the moment, at least. The only problem that I see for Chaos is the fact that they have an Enigma versus a Rubik, and that Enigma has to itemize completely differently than than in some other games, right? You need that. Oh, oh. Roger. Okay, does he just suicide? Yeah. suicide? All right. Yeah, just a casual suicide. Yeah. So he respawns a bit faster, goes back onto that lane, and deals with Omni Knight. That Omni Knight. Look at that. Actually, two rings now. It's so hard to zone him out from this point on. Oh, and actually, interesting, because I don't think we've seen that before. Actually, the, the Ring of Health also being brought for him oh, by Misery. Oh, it was Misery. also by Misery. Oh, he's just passed in between these. But yeah, still, it's... I, I guess he's going to get to Dominator, I, I, right? I think Misery's yeah. trying to give it, you know, send him a message here, you know? Tough. Oh, I don't think PA can... Yeah, Ramsey's went back, so he's not really going to be able to help there. Uh, they go on Misery, but he should be fine. He has no region for mana, I mean, so that, that, that's a little bit difficult for Misery at the moment. He needs to wait that minute five, which is gonna come. After that, he can use the Shrine and continue farming. Uh, I like the fact that he's buying the Helm of Dominator, by the way. Specifically, as he's playing versus the Rubik, you can't go for Midas and Hope to get a Blink Dagger, BKB, plus Lincolns, because those are the three items that you need to actually play against the Rubik as an Enigma. And, um, just going for something different, just that early game pressure with the Helm of Dominator. Maybe we'll see him even buy a Crimson Guard. It's so good in this game versus the PA, maybe even a pipe. So just pure utility, I think, from Misery would be the best option. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, every time we see a, an Enigma, it's always nice to expect to see the big flashy black holes. But for the most part in this meta, that's not really the, the reason why this hero is so good. Mm -hmm. as, many as Roger is trading. He's hitting him a bit, but there's Purify and what now? Oh, you, what now, Roger? You're gonna lose that trade every time, unfortunately, as a as a support slider. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, Roger walks out of half health, Tavo walks out with full. Yeah, Tavo is what, level five already? Like he's having a blast on that offlane, honestly. We'll see we are. Go for a chaser. We'll see how far he, he goes. He's gonna here. continue. Solo's gonna pop the shrine, and in fact that's enough to spook Weeha from diving any further. We'll let Solo walk this one off. 
Yeah, he was like, all right, I might get the kill if I dive him, but if, if I dive, dive him too deep, I'm going to get punished 100% and someone is going to pour it to the shrine. So it, it's definitely safer for him to just go back. Top tower is under attack. And we can really see the pressure from Chaos being amped up on this top lane now. You know, having deserve. Misery walk into the lane, helping out Tarvo. BP have got to bring some extra backup in, and they will. Solo's got to TP up. They've got the two supports up. Be a little careful with the courier. Oh, the uh, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, they, okay, they didn't. They didn't. They, they weren't didn't looking. Expect it. But look at this. I mean, I, I guess not. But I mean, they saw him hit the first time. He was right next to it, but they didn't protect it. No, they saw him hit it the first time, and they saw that it only dealt like a sure. quarter of a damage. I guess so they didn't think the bash. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't think the bash is no. going to happen. No one clicked hard yeah. or checked his uh, stacks. So. All yeah, right. Well. I, that was really great for them, though. Are we going to try and go on Tavo? See if they can do it with the three of them. Tavo already using the purification. Another bash comes out. Tavo lifted up by the telekinesis. They'll get the kill. Takes a little bit of time, but it does the job, and that will be the first blood officially. For Ramsey's getting the kill. Same time down bottom, HFN diving in, trying to oh, chase for Patrick. Bottom. We'll find him. So uh, as no one will TP in in response. Drops the Sanity's Eclipse Is straight away. A couple more hits will do it. It doesn't that's even need it. it. You're right. That's, that's a kill instantly. Yep. I, I, overall, for um, VP, I think this is pretty good. You you got a kill on OD oh, and sure. on the PA. Yeah, you did lose that flash rack, but it's not the biggest Oh, the biggest deal. Uh, no, the witch doctor. <laughs> Hello, oh, mister. Okay. No one's going to get a bonus. <laughs> She's just able to walk in and get a double kill as uh, King RD didn't get the memo. I guess he expected that no one got that kill by the tower and he yeah. got out of there, but no one... He, he hung around and it pays off. He it, gets a bonus it kill. It happens. You're a support. You want some experience. <laughs> and you're expecting that OD to go back to his mid lane where he belongs. You try to sneak in a couple of last hits there and Radiance you pay the ultimate tower. price as he dies. Uh, at the same time, Misery. I, I wanted to mention this earlier. Quite a fast Dominator considering he was helping out Dominite so much. And with that Dominator, I think they're going to start pressuring this top tower yeah, already. I mean. You can see King Guardi also rotating, porting top. And they have that ward that they want to most likely place behind the tower. But it is difficult at the moment. We have the Eidolons, we have the Centaur. And that's early game pressure. That's the same aggression that, we ex that we've seen from Chaos versus Liquid, right? They just want to be as aggressive as possible. Yeah. However, in this match, VP has played fairly well in the laning stage. They did not lose their lanes. And now it's on Chaos to actually make some moves. They can't just snowball at you. They just they can't just rush at you like we've Radiance seen in that Liquid game. They actually attack. have to make some plays. They have to perhaps do some ganks, make some openings before they take down these objectives. Yeah, they have to be very careful about who they go upon. As in the jungle, Weeha continues to rack up the farm with the Eye of the Storm, going from neutral camp to camp. Definitely a game where this Outworld Devourer nice. could be a big, terrifying beast. No one top of the net worth. Oh, it's a fan. He's fine. With those phases, he gets out. Razor going for that Atos, a very common build that we've seen. Actually, well, very common for Wii. He's, I, he, he's been buying that item every time I've seen him on Razor so far, so... Pretty good, and the first tower is gonna crumble, it seems. Yeah, so this solo. is still a solo deny. Oh, oh, doesn't want it, it's a little too risky getting any closer. As he'll hang back, and Chaos get the space for that tower. So, still taking the first tier one tower at the 10 minute mark. Still on pretty damn good timing here, Chaos, with that pressure. Yep. Three bounty runes, however, go for VP, so they find some something out of that tower push on top. And PA, as you can see, is buying that lad. So with that amplified damage from Slardar, they're going to be looking at fighting Chaos. They're not going to let them take over the map yeah. that easily. Uh, I think they've watched the replay versus the Liquid. They learned the lesson that that was obviously... That obviously kicked Liquid out of the tournament, so... Oh, for sure. I mean, it, whenever you sort of see a team let their opponents get, like, the same three cores that they had, uh, is it specifically when it was the same three cores from the last game, you know that, they yeah, they you've planned. got, it's chaos, you got to be a little bit like, hang on, this is feeling a little too easy in the draft, yeah. we're getting all the heroes we want, they must have a good plan to go yeah. against it. It's mid lane, Weeha tries to step up to the high ground, but Roger's going to be there, comes in with a TP, Weeha does fall, they'll get the trade kill onto Roger with that death ward. It's worth it. It absolutely is, I mean, no one's just getting this, the, all of these kills as the Outworld Devour, it's propelling him further ahead at the top. Exactly. 
it's definitely worth it for them killing that razor off basically stopping this tier one push instantly that is dead in its tracks so uh, you know what i i've i've been watching chaos's twitter and they uh posted a posted a picture of them setting up a trap for liquid but what kind of a trap is this like everything is the same you've, you've picked basically all the same heroes that you've uh, drafted in your previous series. So yeah, like I it. think it's VP. They are the ones that have set up a trap. Obviously, no one has uh, already built up a thousand gold on top of that four star. Obviously, very good this game for the kite potential, breaking the static link, getting yourself away from the other two melee cores, this Omni Knight Nurser. It's Chaos. They go oh, for the smoke don't. and walk into the middle lane. They do have the control onto Roger. I've uh, just got a crush. He's, He's trying to get away with the paralyzing cask bouncing around. Will hold him down. So Chaos get a support kill. And I look for the tower. At the same time down bottom though. The Ursa's left alone. He'll be run down here into the trees. HFN turns, starts to get the swipe, stacking up on Pasha. He oh, will he bring Pasha. Pasha down with him. In fact, HFN, can he actually get out of this? He's gonna hide in the trees. He has got a TP, but no one's there. And in fact, Solo finishes off the kill with a fade. Ball. Oh, the pings. <laughs> the really team. Is, is that pings. team? Like team. team. Come on. Come on. React. Right. Can we check the team? Did anyone have TPs? Uh, they must have had. Did TPs. they have any TPs? Oh, no, they didn't. So no one. Did, no, they didn't. No, no one had TPs. No one had a TP. Why don't you have TPs? <laughs> <laughs> team. Like, it doesn't matter. They, they, like they should have fours there in that situation in which your carry Ursa is fighting three heroes and also taking one down. You should be able to yeah. to port and help him. They were Yeah. Especially now when, they're losing a tower as yeah. well. Especially when you have heroes such as Enigma, Omni Knight. Witch Doctor, these heroes can turn that gang so easily. Well, a little bit unfortunate for Chaos, and you can see that Ursa is going for a Midas. He's like, listen, you didn't save me this time. <laughs> He's like, right, <laughs> I'm done. I'm hitting jungle creeps. You know, this is the point where that guy in your pub, he says, oh, I'm just going to farm now. If you guys don't want to fight. Yeah, it, it, it's one of those carries. You don't port to him once He's easily. I'm jungling. <laughs> yeah. See you in 10 minutes. Oh, Midas on him is all right in this match. Yeah. Uh, he's playing obviously with, with Core Razor and Core Omni Knight, so having that Midas is going to allow him to scale a little bit better later on into the game. Oh, HFN is going to be there waiting. Solo, Solo. It's his ulti. <laughs> he has got indeed that damage reduction. Solo doesn't care. It took no damage whatsoever. Pretty good, pretty good. How close is Roger to. Oh, 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 this is a big one. Please. The Atos down. Rebels is he going to get back up? Oh, the Mallet, he is absolutely dead. Chaos getting a big kill, but now they may pay the price. It's VP. They have got the catch onto We Are. Sanity's Eclipse dropped down, draining the mana. Paralyzing cast will run out. We are. Hang on. Hang on. They're turning it around. We has got the run of Atos. He's going to move in. There'll be a defensive Astral. We is still being beat down by Roger. They've got the Black Hole. They're controlling the only We are. He's still alive. The last track dead as well. Chaos. They're turning it around. Solo's gone. Oh. We are dead on the I side mean, of VP. What? Put the heck? King RD in his beautiful bouncing coconuts. Keeping Weeha safe. That, I don't, VP, they don't even know what happened then. That That's, imprisonment into OD ult was good, but it only connected on Razor. And so now Roger said, it's an effective team wipe. It's a wipe. Look at the net worth. They're now 5k ahead. What just happened? Chaos. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, chaos. Yep. Just that one single fight there. Going amazingly My well for goodness. them. Catching out Ramsey's. Look first. how much money the bear's got now. <laughs> got 2,300 gold. He, he just could get the money. Just I'm just going to go for Bash or hit your face. Uh, he's our right team. I, <laughs> he probably <laughs> said some horrible things when they didn't TP. He's like, right, let's put that behind us, lads. All right, I, I believe well, you. Guys, I believe yeah. in the team now. Now look at this. Ramsey's yeah. falls here instantly. That, this is such a good pickoff. Yeah. But I think the crucial point here is the Astral Wii. That's great. And then but this he, cask is the beginning at the ults, end. He holds here, but he only holds the Razor. So there's enough mana on the Witch Doctor to use the cask. And because of that, Razor turns. Huh? As he has that I'm, cask I'm, bouncing he just around. Look how low we are is for the majority of this fight. Yeah, but there's no damage. No one is hitting yeah. him. The voodoo restoration with King RD. And then this Lash also tries to kill we Like, he, he gets tunnel vision onto right. him. He's like, I have to get this kill. Doesn't get it. Actually, they get wiped. Well, now you know. Now it's no one who's saying team. I'm buying a Midas <laughs> after that fight. So he goes and picks himself up one. Yeah. Well, 
to be honest. It's, I mean, it's still, it's OD. It's one it's of the people OD. that buys Midas. Yeah, it's good on him. But I'm just saying, you know, if that didn't happen, maybe he wouldn't have a Midas and maybe they'd be a bit more proactive because now Chaos is going to walk into the pit, take this Roshan. It's 16 minutes in. As you say, you got your Basher done on the Ursa. Chaos have not been punished for starting off the game with Misery in the jungle. He has a mech. I just love the way uh, everyone is itemizing yeah. on the side of Chaos. It, it, all these cores, they complement each other so well with these particular items. And Roger, now you have to run, my friend. There's an Atos with bazillion range. And I mean, at this point where... Oh, oh no one. No, I mean, I told you, Pies the Midas, he says, team, I'm jungling. And now he's going to get punished. They just run into the high ground and kill him. We got You got to be careful now. Not, he might, we got, you got to get the tilt watch out. I, I guess you just don't expect him to run through there. You expect him to run where Roger was, but they just ignore the tier two and run past, straight past it. No one. Usually a player that doesn't get caught this easily. Yeah, just on He's his own like that. Now look. They're going high ground. Here we go. Chaos. The fortification's out. He's still 20 seconds without the OD. It's Chaos. They did it against Liquid with these same three cores. And here in game one against Virtus Pro, they're showing us a bit of the same, if anything. With even more bravado, considering the start was not, you know, it wasn't crazy for Chaos. The They're landing just... stage, they were at an even point, but that, the, the, the decision of when to take these fights had just popped them far ahead at this point of the game as they're taking this tier 3 tower. They're just proving that the Liquid game was not a fluke no. at all. And, and nobody stepped forward? They've got the cast down, the Maledict, the Death Ford, no he's trying one. to force away, but we are on top of him. No one's going to die, there's nothing they can do to save the OD. No one dead for 40 seconds. Roger's trying to run, it's a nice three-man stun from Pasha, holding them back. Right, they take down Aegis, that's something. Um, it, 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 it's is, something. They're running to the fountains, <laughs> they can't fight. I mean, this is incredible to see from Chaos. Bringing this much aggression versus a CIS stack such as VP that Absolutely. is always known for playing the lanes and the post laning stage so well is it, just marvelous. And now that I mean they're gonna start in the right thing, you're gonna start in the people. The cast bounces out again from King Adi and no one he has to buy back at this early point in the game, spending the money, getting back in. He'll pop the Astral out onto HFN. See if they can get any kills out of this though. VP daggers out onto Weeha. He's just bought back your OD. What yeah. what did you get from it? Yeah, you hold your Raxes, but you didn't really get any counter kills. Which is not really great for VP. We'll see how Chaos play from this point now, because... Oh, we have lost... We, oh, uh, there we go. There we go. We're yeah. fine. We, sorry, we, we lost vision, but we got vision back. Anyway, so... It's a, he still has that Midas I mean, up. I don't think he's going to go for it, HFN. Dude, Misery's nearly got a full Greaves. We're seeing the net. Well, we've got to check out the win probability. I mean, how much does Gaben believe in them now? Yeah, 97% win probability for Chaos. I mean, I, I'm not. I don't blame him. No. I don't blame Gabe. Look at look at look at how this game's going. He's seen this show before against Liquid. Yeah. This 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 is the problem about Rubik versus Enigma. Sometimes, if the Enigma goes for full utility, it doesn't even matter that you can steal that black hole. He's not going to use it. He's just going to pop that Mac or Greaves in the future and provide so much pressure onto your side that you're going to feel useless as a Rubik. I mean, maybe, maybe it was sort of... The, oh, oh solo. solo. He's baiting something here, I guess. Hello, oh, Solo. He's debating. Uh, test. All right, test. One, two, three, Solo. Solo. Can we... Flag? Uh, there, there go. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, end mid, boys. I don't know what that was, but all right. That's a range rack, Scott. And now Chaos. They'll move on to hitting onto the melee. What a VP do? They're... You know, each hero is an, easily an item behind that of their opponents. As HFN, I mean, he, they're pushing. You know, HFN's just casually holding on to 2,700 gold. He doesn't need to spend it. He's just walking in and flashing the cash. <laughs> they just can't do anything at the moment. Roger has three bracers. This is not the position that you want to be in as a Slardar. You want that blink, you want that force. With the Simvis, perhaps he can go and creep skip or something to delay this push, but honestly... These items... 10k ahead, 20 minutes yeah. in, Chaos is just destroying and they VP. And, they, and they're 11k ahead, they haven't even taken the tier 1 and tier 2 here, so when they take these uh, you know, with incredible ease, they're going to be even further ahead. This is potential gold just sitting on the map that Don't Chaos just take down. without even batting an eyelid. Is Roger even going to try to? No, he's not even going to go for Don't the creep skip, it seems. Attack. Or if he does, he's a bit too late now. What are, what are, I mean, they're preparing something in this. 
Radiant jungle, but nothing's gonna happen there because Chaos, they're just gonna force high grounds again. They have Greaves. Yeah. Oh, Lash is just all right. Oh, there you go. Doing the Lash business on me. I mean, he's doing the Reddit trick on the tower, but you know, that's not gonna win your games. It's a little bit of money for VP. The drums have been popped. They're just gonna run in. They have the Atos, the Link. As you see there as well, you know, Sully tries to hold Weeha back with the Telekinesis, but with this Heavenly Grace, having that 50% uh, status resist, it, it, you can't hold this man down. So stun onto the two of them, fortification being used. Weeha, he's just in, runs down solo. Solo's just dead, no one as well. He's on, been on top of from HFN, has to use the Astral to hold back the Ursa. There'll be a buyback from Solo. They're still pushing into the tier three. They're trying to wrap around on the back, but there's the sound of these drop down. It did ab absolutely nothing. Slards are buyback. It didn't Rubik do nothing. Buyback. Rubik die back right now. There's no Rubik any longer for one full minute. They can just continue taking it. Is it? I mean, it is over. Chaos, they've broken them. Chaos, once again, showing us that this team on land, I mean, there's just some magic going on here, and they have. This three courts, you cannot let them have it. If you let this team have Omni, Razor, and Ursa, you're going to lose the game. Definitely, I have to agree with you. I think VP is one of those teams that have these, well, strong-headed players that are going to be like, all right, just let them, they're heroes. We're going to outplay them. We're going to do something magical. We're oh, going to play our own game. But I, I think Chaos, they have just proven that was the you can't mess with this team. Do, you, no. you just can't let them have their no. heroes. The aggression that they put out with those three cores is just amazing. Like the Omni Knight makes everything tick and then you have the Greaves on the Enigma. And, and it was Ooh. just every, the, the fact that Chaos seemed to know so well just when to push. I feel like you'd see a lot of other teams, mm -hmm. sure, maybe they'd have a start like that, but they wouldn't be as aggressive with their way at just ending the game. They'd be like, hey, we're ahead. Hey, let's chill. Let's uh, let's get a Roshan. Let's, you know, get your next time up. No, they were outside of the base, just making sure that VP, they didn't even have time to think. It was one that crucial fight in the jungle that yeah. just turned everything around. VP, they looked all right. They didn't have the worst lanes, right? No, but no, no, I mean, no one, one made fight. these good rotations at the start, right? He gets yeah. these sort of three kills with the OD. But then I, it felt like there was some tilting a bit about, you know, that began to happen. Yeah. Suddenly, one failed team fight. The team sort of just fell apart as VP and Chaos did not give VP any space to, to, to fix themselves. Mm -hmm. What a game one. I mean, can they do it two times in a row? We saw them do it against Liquid. That was the best of one here against VP. They have to do that twice. We'll see if VP lets them or if VP's got something else up their sleeves to, to turn this series around. But as it stands, chaos with absolute force taking the first game in this best of three series.